Joined by head coach Adam Hutchinson of Washington Lee University men's basketball. They were picked number six in this year's preseason poll. Coach, you've got uh, you've got a good mix of youth and age coming back on your squad this season, and one of the players that's going to garner some headlines for you is actually one of your younger players, and it's Clayton Merther coming off of winning the Rookie of the Year award last season in the ODAC. Talk a little bit about him, uh, about the expectations you had for him last year, but now this year, and then some of the other guys you've got coming back because you've got some strong leaders on this year's squad as well. Yeah, Clayton was very solid as a freshman, and we expected that part. You know, we knew he was a solid player. Um, what I didn't really know was exactly how consistent he was. So what he did quite well was he was the same guy every night out. Um, you know, if he was supposed to make the play, he made the play. Uh, he wasn't spectacular in any way, except that he was spectacularly consistent. Um, that surprised me. Um, I think that's difficult to find in any player, and especially difficult as a young player. Um, so he's going to carry a heavy load for us again. You know, a lot of people will be obviously game planning for him, but he's one of those players who's able to process that and make the right decision. Let's talk about some of the other guys you've got on your squad. Uh, Andy Kleinlein, Darren Douglas, Andrew Franz are back. Those are the ones that just stick out for me, but I know you've got several other guys that played meaningful minutes for you last year. What do you expect out of this season's squad? Uh, you know, you, you want to see them grow from the struggles that they may have had over two, three, or four years in their career. And, you know, they've experienced some highs and they've experienced some lows. And it's good to be able to contrast those and say, okay, well, when we won, what did we do? And when we lost, what did we do? And you can kind of grow from that, that analysis. Uh, and they, they're the kind of guys who are capable of that. When we take a look at the league as a whole right now, since 2009-10 season, 16 teams have competed on the national stage. Last year we had Randolph Macon, Virginia Wesleyan back in getting to the Final Four with Virginia Wesleyan. Talk a little bit about what you see from the league this season if you think there's that talent at the top of the league to make another run back there. I think there's always that talent at the top of the league. Um, you know, uh, Virginia Wesleyan has had the most consistency since I've been in the league in terms of results. But I think if you look at the scout tapes, you know, if you watch when you're preparing for them, they show up every night to play. So I think they're the most consistent in that respect as well. I think Macon is right there with them in that respect. Um, you know, Guilford right there with with those two teams in that respect as well. Uh, so I don't expect much difference there from those guys. Um, I think the top of our league can compete with any conference in the country. Um, I think the middle of our conference would be competitive with the top of a lot of other conferences. And that actually creates the dilemma for those top teams because they don't have easy nights. Well, Coach, I want to thank you for joining me today. and Good luck this season. All right, thank you, JJ. Glad to be here.